Alright guys, back for more Last of Us 2 Remastered. Get a little, or almost an hour's break in between the last part and this one because I had a few things to do. to get. I need 50, 40. I need a total of 90 more of those. That's... Okay. It's not gonna be too hard. And then there's shit with Abby when I get to her section of the story. Jesus Christ. Abby's section of the story is just ass. I'm sorry. I don't really give a fuck. I like the flick of that knife. Answer me. God damn it. Hey! Uh, shit, I could have laid these. He hasn't noticed her yet, or him yet. Nice, Dina. Think that's all of them? Let's not find out. <clears throat> I'm 
Crap another trip mine, why the fuck not? I did not get this note the last time I came through. From here on out, kill trespassers will send additional units to locate the other woman. Return the return to the fallout boy by end of day. <laughs> Bring all available supplies. I know FOB probably stands for something else, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What about this? Let's try it. school. Now. There has to be a way down the street somewhere. Okay. I got it. Trading card, supplies, okay. I'm just seeing. Okay, I have almost enough for another upgrade. We need to get to the street. Uh, one sec. I... I don't know why you went for that, but okay. Looks clear. Yeah. I think we're good. All right. Check this out. The 
She's one of them. Mm. Well, fuck her then. <laughs> Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? I gotta find out, right? So, spy all these tall buildings. That way. Okay. Let's go get Leah. We'll keep on searching. Monks on a mission, whether by day or moonlight. If you don't know what song that is, it's uh, Monks on a Mission from uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman. Yeah. I am very I surprised that, that like no like compilations have been released of um, Thanks for the, save, by the, way. the songs from Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman and Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein. And yes, those are real movies that came out back in the nineties. So, those are the wolves. <laughs> They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were gonna be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. Does that change anything for you? Mm. No. Follow the road until you see an outdoor pool. Keep an eye out for patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. And once they realize we're out of the school, and that we killed their fucking friends, they'll be out in force looking Next for us. Next to it is a hallway with apartment six. But before we go anywhere, really. Um, I'm surprised when you're next to, like, a bunch of those that they're not like oh wait no oh and I still have that so 60 50 and 40 oh okay I see so I gotta wait until I get uh, 50 Damn. fresh blood Surprised on the reflection, there's no thing for the light, like, there's no ray cast by the flashlight. Should've waited another second. I'm bit. Tina's dead. We've been getting drunk in on our patrols for a while. This was such a shit post. No infected, no scars, far from everything. Her brother makes moonshine, so we drink and talk. Went that way for months. We were stumbling around the grocery store when these runners surprised us. Let her brother know I'm sorry. Tried to save her. Tell my mom I love her, Chevy. Or Chevy.
Okay, so this is just one optional place you can go. Pretty sure I researched here. So that was where I was supposed to go. Okay, now I see it. trying to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't know why the guy was telling me to go in that apartment first rather than this one, but whatever. Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and tell me when they had the chance? I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. Yeah. What? Could be that you just weren't who they were looking for. So they let you go. Yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish it the... It doesn't matter. They fucked up. They did. I kind of do like that they did include a conversation like that in this. What was the name of the... And they acknowledge it. The one in the TV station? Because I won't lie, yeah. Abby and her group are fucking is dumb. She the one... As fuck. Uh, is she the one with the braid? No. 
Only thing I remember about her was the sound of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, how do you want to handle her? Find out what she knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. You gonna ask her where they did it? Yeah. Any of this jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Hmm. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Hi. He wasn't, um, wasn't very big on sharing. I wonder what Tommy's making of all this. You probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Hmm. You know, I just realized at this point in the game, uh, in the story, they still don't know why Abby killed Joel. And realistically, they never truly find out that answer. That's one of the biggest, like, criticisms I have of the story of this game. Ellie never finds out that Abby is the daughter of the doctor who wanted to do the, uh, who wanted to try and make the vaccine. And Abby never learns that, or why Ellie cares so much that she killed Joel. Hell, Abby never learns Ellie's name. Like, that's a thing I don't think a lot of people realize, is that... There really is no redemption story, or it's a very poor one if there is. What are you doing with that? It's stuck. For, um... Maybe try getting it off the curb? For Abby. Like, it's a very poor redemption story for Abby. Because, like... Now what are you gonna do with it? I'll be back in a sec. In order for Abby, in my opinion, to be redeemed... She has to be truly sorry for what she did. And she has to at least tell that to Ellie, that she's sorry, because she never does. That's a thing that most people don't, I think, think about, is that there's no sense of Ellie and Abby talking to each other. There's no sense of getting final resolution for either of them. The game's story just happens... And it ends in a weird place. It feels incomplete, which is one of the reasons I hate it. Viv, uh, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. I hope he acted alone. If you guys are in a rough spot, you can talk to me. I care for you and your son. Now, more than ever, we need to, we need to be looking out for each other. There are criminals running through the city. Or running through this city. Right. There are criminals running this city. Add a little salt and some water to these, and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's not much, but it'll, right? But hopefully, it'll help get you to the next drop off, at least, Raoul. But yeah, I, I just. That's why the story of this game leaves a bitter taste in my mouth, is because people say it's a redemption story. I'm sorry, but not really. And if it is supposed to be taken as one, it's very, very poor for being a redemption story. Like, it's a very poor excuse for one. I think that's one of the reasons why people have so or have had, like, visceral, like, negative reactions to this game, is that they're really, it's not written that well. That's one of the problems I have with it, is that it's just not written well. And the people who think it is don't know how to analyze media properly. And I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but it's true you don't know how to analyze media properly. 
if you cannot see the problems with this game, or if you excuse the problems with this game. Was it worth it? Yeah. Pretty good haul. <sighs> Alright. Once you have picked up everything, you now push the dumpster to the fence next to the motel and jump over. Okay. <sighs> But yeah, and we will definitely see more of that if this is like your first... If you have not e either played this game or watched any other playthroughs of it, we're gonna definitely see I that as... See the buildings. Um, we go I through Abby's story in a little while. Uh, let's see. Okay. Walking the street, you want to head to the back section with the gas station. <clears throat> but yeah, that's like. He's the worst. You're not. Shit. Great. You know how many times I got food poisoning, and why do you think I took up fishing? I love getting headshots. Any left? I don't think so. Good. Shit. You recognize any other? None. Man, this QZ is huge, right? Pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. So we need 40 for that, 60 for that. Okay. Yeah, that's just uh That's just honestly why I uh I'm approaching this game this time as like uh there's a there's a trope on TV tropes called play the play the game skip the story. This game is fun to play. The story is terrible. So I'm just taking it as it is realistically and pointing out the flaws as I go. Yeah, like but yeah, that's that's why I say it's kind of like a uh, Captain Marvel. Just Halloween you know? stuff. It's kind of like the Captain Marvel movie, the first one, where, um... I'm not a fan. Where, uh, I get where, what they were going for in a lot of things, and I think that that movie is a lot better crafted than, in regards to its story, than this game's is. But, um... The thing about it is, um... Um, yeah, the thing about it is just, like, that, that movie felt like the stories, or the, the script that they were using could have used the final draft, or another draft or two, to really, um, and it felt like it was rushed into production after they got a workable script for the, for the two different stories that they wanted to tell for it. Um, 
and it didn't quite gel as well as it should have. On top of that, Brie Larson was horribly miscast as Captain Marvel. I'm sorry. I don't have anything really against her as a person, but as an actress, when it comes to uh, the fact that she was cast as Captain Marvel for that and then Endgame. Where in the fuck? They don't want to be here. I'm trying to listen for them. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I just, I just genuinely, honestly think that this game's, like, sto the script and the story could have used another pass before they put it fully into production. And uh, there's someone who made a really good video essay. I think it was, or some kind of video. On why they feel that this story's, or this game's story is not that good. And it's also something that I have, um... Oh God! Alex! That I also personally agree with, and I've come to the conclusion myself, is that... See any others? Because of... Not yet. Because of the people who left, um... How are we gonna get Leo alone? Is after Uncharted 4's production, just uh, even before, talk. with Amy Hennig leaving, gonna make her talk? or actually no, during to... Uncharted 4's production, um, and everything, uh, and, um, yeah, before, so... Okay, so before, after, okay, before and after Uncharted 4's production, and then Watch out. On the right. during the production of this game, there were very few people left that still worked on, or that did work on the first Last of Us game. Um, that were open to saying no to Neil Druckmann's ideas. And so, as a result, um, <coughs> this game, unfortunately, very much devolved in the groupthink in regards to writing it. But yeah. Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets. Be careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. Uh, whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of Fedra left in your neighborhood. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak. It's temporary. Helps us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in that stupid studio, Rebecca. Oh, so we got another lesbian. Okay. Just to clarify, that's not me making fun of that. It's me just pointing that out. Attack! 
That way! It came from that way! Here, here! What the fuck? One more dude. Do you run? There you are. Okay. Oh, rainbow side or rainbow crosswalk. Interesting. Okay. But yeah. Uh, back to what I was saying before. I was real, I was so rudely interrupted. Um, by the game just spawning in enemies. Um. Basically, that's just my. My best guess as to what happened uh, during the production of this game is you had such a fucking toxic work environment um, at Naughty Dog. You have Neil Druckmann, who I, I don't really know in regards to, like, how he is in everyday life, but when it comes to... It seems like when it comes to him as a boss, from what I've read in regards to former Naughty Dog employees uh, from after this game came out um, and shit uh, that were anonymous to thankfully or to keep their identities safe uh, so that they could continue to work in the industry and shit because um, realistically they don't deserve to be blacklisted or anything. Uh, all for just speaking their minds openly about the shit that they suffered through. But yeah. Um, like, no one deserves that. But anyways. Uh, yeah. Um, when it comes to that shit and how they were like... I'm very sure... I'm very certain that it was confirmed that they were very much emotionally abused throughout the process of making this game. Which, I don't blame anyone for quitting Naughty Dog. If they suffered enough of that, that they couldn't continue working at the company. I don't blame them at all. But yeah, um... Um, it just honestly, to me, at the very least, seems like, uh, it was an environment where no one was properly allowed to give constructive feedback and criticism to Neil Druckmann for fear of getting, um, fired or something along those lines and blacklisted from the industry. Because that is a genuine fear when you get into work and jobs like this. Yeah, I do not begrudge anyone who worked at Naughty Dog during the development of this game um, for just quitting after they were done.
because... Yeah, and I... I do understand that, like, uh, the production of The Last of Us 1 Remake um, went a lot smoother than the production of this, but granted they didn't have as much of a workload because literally they were just recreating a game from the ground up with new graphics and shit and some enhancements to, like, the AI and everything. Um... <clears throat> Inside the station will be a workbench. Where the fuck is the workbench? Um. We, uh. Ah, here we go. So. I should have a good amount. Alright. Help I can I'm assuming I'll have this fully upgraded in a minute. But yeah. And bada bing. I don't know why it doesn't give you the option to upgrade everything. So I think... Hold on. Is there no trophy for when you... Oh, wait. Right, there's still shit with Abby. I forgot. There's still weapons with Abby that I need to... upgrade fully. That's why the trophy isn't popping. Uh, I need 60... I need 100 more for... We're to finish upgrading the turn fully. Alright. Uh, I already went into the bookstore. Let's well, just want to do one more quick sweep. These WLF guys went up against the military over a decade ago. Why are they still so amped? There can't be that many trespassers that come through here. I don't know. The city still looks like it's filled with supplies. I can't see why people would need to fight over it. <laughs> All right. Uh, trading card in the darker hallway on a table. Got it. All right. 
Or restores. At some point, you will come across this section. I need to jump down in order to proceed. There are three stores. Okay. So, continuing on, I guess. Okay, so we just need to drop down. months to secure this zone. Higher-ups know what they're doing. Probably. Okay. As infected, bang straight ahead, LF, WLF soldiers, bagel store to the left, also with soldiers. Great. Fucking great. So, market to the right, which has infected. Bank straight ahead, WLF soldiers. Bagel store to the left, also with soldiers. So, market to the right. Go ahead, girl, go ahead, they go with it. Go with it. Bro. 
I love that I have this gun in this game, in this, or in New Game Plus. Also, the New Game Plus in this game is so much better than the fucking first game, like, Jesus Christ. It's just... Even in New Game Plus in the first game, for just some fucking reason I can't fathom, you don't have access to the weapons from the jump, and I don't understand that. You, you get access to them as you re-unlock them. That's fucking dumb. You really fucked me up, didn't you? God damn it! If you're feeling bad about that, here's the thing. The way the AI works, the guy, if I let the guy go, which it didn't give me the option to, if I let the guy go, what would have happened is the guy's AI would have um, made him back off a little bit, then he would have started shooting at me again. He's not that sm the AI is not that smart. They're not programmed to be that smart, unfortunately. And I can't remember who I heard this from, but a, a good way to, um, to have fixed that would have been if the enemy AI, or the enemies, um, if the enemies, um, yeah. uh, would have been programmed to... Uh, go back to, um, or go and, I guess, regroup, or catch up with, uh, their allies, and, um, and then, like, ambush you, or the people ahead would have been alerted to your presence earlier. That would have been a good way to program them, but nope. So there literally is no consequence to killing them. If you, like that, if you strike them down while they're hurt, there is literally no consequence for your actions. And people are gonna be like, "Oh, that doesn't. That's a bit harsh. Uh, it's a video game." It's not real life. I can separate the two in my mind. If you can't, okay. But... It's also like, um... I don't even necessarily think that this was the intent at this point, but, um... When the game has you... Kill a dog. Um, or as you kill multiple dogs. Some people really took issue with that. It's just like, though, you can't really do much about that, because killing the dogs gives you a tactical advantage 
over your enemy, over the enemies in this game. And unfortunately, in a lot of cases, you do need to kill the dogs to proceed. But yeah. more. So I need 58 more is what it's showing me. But yeah, so I'm I'm very I'm very I'm very like morally neutral on the shit you have to do in this game. I remember there was um I've seen a bunch of the negative reviews of this game that are the the videos and everything. There was a person who brought up uh, the reason why I say that is the person who brought it up who brought up the uh, the killing of dogs. It's like they're enemy dogs and on top of that they're like German shepherds and shit. The dogs are trained to track you and hunt you down and kill you. I feel nothing towards like a killing machine that will fucking do that to you. Like, and it's, it's kind of hard to deprogram dogs. It takes a very long time, so that wouldn't be an option in this game to even remotely do. Sure, maybe there could have been, like, I don't know, like a tranquilizer gun that you could use, but at the same time, it's just like, where the fuck would you get that? Tranquilizer gun or a stun gun, something like that. But they didn't even try to program that or either of those into this game, so... Yeah. Alright, uh, save game. Manual save. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause here and continue in the next one.